So a jellyfish is easy enough to paint without actually drawing any lines down first but if you feel more comfortable with doing that then go ahead and do that. I would just, if I was you, if you were going to do that, just draw the hood of the jellyfish which is the roundest part and then leave the tentacles free because you can easily just take a paintbrush and free paint those. I'm going to start off with a light wash of blue and I'm just going to paint the top of the hood in this, the hood of the jellyfish. So this is just blue, you can take any blue, you don't have to use blue if you don't want to, you can use any colours that you want. And now I'm taking some permanent rose and I'm going to allow those colours to mix together and you can see that I'm just simply allowing those two colours to kiss and meet where the blue is still wet and then my paint is quite watery and then I'm just going to bring that colour down and I'm going to just kind of paint a frilled sort of design at the bottom because jellyfish have these gorgeous frills on the bottom of them. And I'm going for quite a loose and messy feel to this jellyfish. I want those colours to mix together and create completely new colours and those two colours are going to mix together and make gorgeous hues of purple. So I'm just rinsing off my brush now and I'm just using my damp brush just to suck up some of the excess puddles that have formed on the page. So all you need to do for that is just touch your thirsty brush, this is what it's called, onto the paper and that will just suck up like a straw a lot of the um, excess moisture. I'm using a damp brush now and I'm just going to bring up some of that colour onto the top where it's blue and you can see that those two colours have mixed together there to make a gorgeous purple colour. So I'm just going to bring that up into the sort of side of the jellyfish but I'm not going to go right to the top. I want the top of the jellyfish to be the lightest area. So we got some blue going on, we got some purple where the pink and the blue are meeting and making purple and we've also got that gorgeous permanent rose. I'm just going to use my damp brush now just to sort of blend that area there where the um, where it's forming a harsh line. So I've got some alizarin crimson and I'm just going to drop that into the side of the jellyfish there just because I want the side of the jellyfish to be the darkest areas. I'm also going to drop some onto the side here. That's just going to give it more of a rounded appearance and just so it doesn't look like such a flat blob on the page. I'm just tidying up the sides there and making it look more smooth. I'm going to dab some of that onto the bottom as well, just onto the bottom frills there. I'm just using a damp brush just to bring and blend that out there slightly. Taking the blue that I've already used now, I'm just going to sort of wiggle my brush back and forth and just create these thicker frills that the jellyfish have in the middle. So I'm going to allow that to touch the hood of the jellyfish and just allow those colours to mix. We're going for a really loose feel here so I'm allowing those tentacles there to cross in the middle so I just want them to be quite frilly looking. I can make them quite thick as well. I've got some permanent rose on my brush now and I'm just going to use the very tip of my brush and I'm just going to lightly paint some very thin tentacles and I am allowing those pink tentacles to cross over the middle blue ones because we're going for a really loose effect here. I do want those colours to purposely mix together and create new colours. It just adds lots of interest and just gives lots for the eye to look at. So I do really want to mix those colours together and you can make some thicker like this or you could make them super thin. You could even miss parts where I have here where it's skipped part of the tentacle. That is completely fine if you want to do that. But I'm just going to add plenty of these really thin 
tentacles. And there's my jellyfish base finished. I'm gonna go on top of this now when it's dry and I'm gonna add some highlights using some gouache. If you don't have gouache, you could always use a white pencil or a white highlighting pen. So the gel pen that I use is this one here. It's by Signo, I got it from Amazon, so I'll link it for you. I find these really great for adding highlights to paintings. My jellyfish is dry now, so I'm taking some gouache and this is a transparent medium, so you can water this down and have it quite thin and liquidy like watercolours, or you can use it more of a transparent paint like acrylic. So I'm gonna use this now to add some highlights to the jellyfish. Also going to add some little speckles and that's just going to make the jellyfish look like quite shiny the, the skin is going to look quite shiny and glistening under the water so I'm making them all different sizes I'm making some very very tiny I'm also using the side of my brush and sort of making these bigger marks. I'm gonna add some to the top of the jellyfish just to add highlight right at the top because I just want to show that the sun is hitting the top of the jellyfish under the water. I'm just gonna dab that with my finger a little bit just to blend it in. I'm going to use the tip of my brush now, just to add some markings and highlights to the tentacles as well. You could also add a little highlights to the thin tentacles as well if you want to. Just skip parts of the tentacles and add little white highlights. I'm so sorry, I forgot to press record. So my paintbrush is absolutely dripping at the moment, so I'm just flicking my brush to get loads of splatters onto the page. You can then take a dry brush and use that as a straw to suck up the excess moisture that's on your page and just see how those splatters are working out for you. So this brush is just gonna suck that water up and stop it from being a puddle on your page and then you're just gonna get the color underneath and um, you'll be able to work out then if those splatters have turned out nicely for you so there you have it that's my finished jellyfish now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you found it easy enough to follow along with were there any areas that you struggled with comment in the comments box below what you enjoyed about this tutorial and if you came across anything that you found difficult or would like to learn more about I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye